All right, so I know some of you subscribers wondering if I had quit uh, scooting altogether because I got rid of my Kugo uh, G2 Pro. I still think that thing was a piece of C. <laughs> you guys fill it in. But this is what I have now. This is a dual motor, um, 3000 watts between the two motors. So 1500, 1500 uh, peak amps, uh, watts per motor, front and back. It runs in dual motors. It features this fender for the back if you want, or it's alternative to the front. It has rear turn signals and brake light. Uh, no, it has a rear uh, signal. It can't, they can't operate as brake lights if, if, you don't, if you're not using them for that. Um, these are brake lights here. Um, I know one of the dead spots for us scooter riders is our back. So this is fantastic here. I'm gonna be wearing an additional five lights on my backpack to complement that safety feature. Uh, pretty wide deck. Um, I have wide, big feet, giggity. Um, and space on the deck for me is a, was a huge concern with the Kugo. I, I pretty much had my foot jammed into the gap between the two holding bars. Um, this deck is much more sturdy for big feet people like myself. It features a motorcycle style steering damper, which you set up going this way. Just remember when you set this up to keep the silver bar part sticking out towards the front. Otherwise, it's completely pointless. This features the folding mechanism that also permalocks, making it impossible for you to um, fold the scooter. I'm gonna be electing to do that. I just prefer the additional security of that bracket. It features voltmeter, as you can see I'm charging, and it features the i3 mini motors uh, controller. So this is already set up to run um, the TFT display, which I'm going to order because the TFT display requires um, the specific mini motors um, controller inside the body and the the one that features the blade logo on the handle does not feature that exact controller. So there's a con there's two types of controller, one with the programming for TFT and an ABS and that's for this. So it's compatible with this and the, the, the Mao ones as uh, Ryan Angelo has covered in his videos extensively. He has said that the, the scooter performance is much better with the Mini Motors i3, so I consider myself very fortunate with that. It features XOD hydraulic brakes. Um, so a little backstory on the scooter. Uh, I got rid of my Kugo G2 Pro. I didn't really like it. I didn't find it safe. I think the company is an absolute nightmare and I was looking for something uh, within a reasonable budget. Um, kind of like double what I got for my Kugo and I had been seeing on Reddit about this scooter and it had really great reviews and Ryan Angelo had covered it really well. So Teveron, if you are watching this, you guys owe Ryan a huge amount of money for the amount of scooters he has sold you got for you guys. Um, I watched a ton of videos, I watched the modifications for this and I didn't want to lose all summer. So my options were becoming slimmer by the day. Um, this scooter was only available in the U.S. for $2,600 or so on eBay. I did not want to pay that much. I will honestly say that I paid $900 less for this model than uh, for the TFT versions that are being sold already stateside. I paid $1,510 plus another $45 of Alibaba processing fees. What I did and how I got my scooter in... Well, I ordered this on June 27th and today is July 15th. So you do the math. It takes 15 days just to process these scooters from the warehouse and the factories. And I have mine in about seven days. I did not pay for freight shipping. What I did, I improvised. I contacted Sunny Times on uh, Alibaba and I asked, do you have any scooters in your American warehouse? Believe it or not, guys, people have buyer's remorse move order a scooter circumstances change it can't be delivered fedex won't deliver it for some reason there's some a number missing on the address it gets marooned inside of a warehouse that's money that they're spending per minute per day that they're losing because they could have another piece of inventory there i asked they didn't have but they had a ship coming to port the 29th it reached port the first 
Then it got sent to California, and then it got sent to me, and the only delays that I've experienced have been with FedEx. What ended up happening is there was a scooter on board with the box that had ripped. They sent the client, the buyer, a picture of it. He didn't want the scooter. They were gonna have, to have the scooter sit. So I asked them to unpack it and send me a video so I can see the conditions of it. They rolled it, they checked everything, every square inch of it. They displayed to me these problems, these cracked plastics here, and said if I take the scooter, they'd send those and any parts that I, uh, that broke down over the next 90 days by air freight. And I can tell you that's more support than I got from Kugo in two months of ownership. This, I hadn't even gotten it yet, and they're air freighting me parts. So I'm gonna support them and buy my uh, fast charger from them. I'm gonna buy replacement tires now that I don't have to buy the controllers to switch to the TFT version. And I'm gonna order the TFT version. Um, they took care of me, I couldn't be happier. I'm gonna take this out for a ride. I'm gonna be doing range tests and speed tests over the weekend for you guys to enjoy.